so the MBA of the future will be masters of value creation or masters of value management because the role of a leader is to create value. It's not just to be an administrator. It's not just to be an, an efficiency guy. It's not just to be a person who takes care of uh, a bunch of uh, problems. He has to, his leadership has to provide value for all of the stakeholders. And one of the things that he does is manage the stakeholders. In point of fact, uh, one thing that we've uh, mentioned uh, of, in the book is, in both the books, is, is the company of the future. And the, in the company of the future, the organization chart states that the CEO is the chief value creator. And the COO is uh, the chief customer value creator. And the CFO is the chief shareholder value creator. And there is an employee value creator who either reports to the CEO or the COO. And, and this together builds what a business should be all about. And, and the role of the CEO is to balance the value creation between the various stakeholders because you can't just give away the shop and say I'll give everyone a hundred percent raise or you can't turn around and say that uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, reduce my prices by 20 percent because I love customers because that's not what, it, what, what it's all about. So our thought process is in that you, you you have to lose money to to have customers love you. Our thought process is very simple. In point of fact, if you can create value, you can increase your prices. In, 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 in point of fact, all of the companies that we work with, no one talks about price anymore. They talk about value creation. I'd go into a company and I'd say, what are these marketing guys doing? Oh, Competition has reduced prices by 1% and they are wondering whether, we are trying to wonder whether we should meet competition. I said, when, when have you ever got together and talked about how can we create more value? Oh, what's that? We do that. We give value. We give value. But the value to them is only price. So one of the things that we teach people is how to do pricing. And we do pricing from the point of view of the customer. So uh, people buy products that they like, they buy features that they like, and and sometimes we force features onto a, a, a company. So I, I have a phone with a camera, but I don't use the camera. So what's the camera worth to me? Simple answer, right? Zero. Now he's using, he's not using a phone, but uh, he's using an iPod, but uh, it's got it's got a video feature and all of that. He is willing to pay for it. And if I could figure out how much value that video feature was uh, was creating for Mr. Mudley, I could then figure out how much to charge him. And companies are surprised that I could really charge him much more than they think they are capable of charging him because Mr. Mudley wants this feature. And in fact, we've done this. Uh, our associates have done this with Dell where we uh, looked at pricing from the point of view of value and we f found that Dell was woefully underpriced because they were trying to enter the market 15, 20 years ago. And we, we, we showed them that they, were, they could easily increase their prices by $500 on a $1,900 base and they, and they laughed us out of, the, uh, out of their office. But they did increase their prices uh, hundred dollars for the next two or three months and nothing happened. But what happened, nothing happened in the marketplace, but what happened was that they start, they stopped bleeding as much as they were bleeding before. So we, we, so we're not trying to tell people uh, don't think about pricing, but what we're saying is the moment you start to think about pricing and the moment you start to say that price is what drives your product, then you're saying I've got a commodity product. And then, then you're also saying that the only way to sell my product is through price. I have no other features to sell on. And if you've got a commodity product, good luck. It's, a, it's, it's the uh, toss of the dice whom, whom you've got to pick. And Jeff Emelt, who's the chairman of GE, says that we, we all face the problem of falling into the commodity hell. And the only way of climbing out of the commodity trap is by adding customer value.